It's been a day of celebration here in India. All 41 workers who were trapped in the Silkiara Tunnel in Uttarakhand are out. They have been reunited with their families. They are safe and sound. Rescue teams worked day and night for that to happen. They did not leave any stone unturned. When the enormous US-made organ machine failed, rescuers took matters in their own hands and quite literally. The last stretch of the drilling was done manually using the rat hole mining technique. The brave men were in the tunnels digging through the debris with their own hands using shovels and pickaxes. You would call this technique primitive, something from a different century. But when push came to shove, it defeated the auger machine. Now what the machine could not get done in so many days, rat hole mining specialists achieved in just a matter of hours. Before the big rescue last night, before manual drilling even started, all hope, remember, was riding on the auger machine. On day 11 of the rescue mission, to be precise, the trapped men were only 12 meters away. Hopes were high. But the drill hit an iron mesh. The rescue op operation was halted and it wasn't until the following morning that the drilling resumed. And in a race against time, we lost precious hours. The machine started working again, but only for so many hours. The same evening, it hit a metal pipe. Again, several hours were spent repairing the auger machine. Hours turned into a day. There was no progress in the drilling, even though rescuers were sweating away to get the machine to work. The next day, officials said that they needed only two more pipes to complete the escape paths. Only two pipes left to freedom. Drilling resumed in the evening, but no spoiler here, the machine hit a metallic object again and this time it did not budge. It remained stuck. Specialized equipment what was flown in from Hyderabad to get it out. Three snags in as many days at a time when every minute counted. The excavator machines failed. Vertical boarding also faced hiccups. What was left to be done? Something you would never have thought of. What worked in the end was the manual method rat hole mining, a technique which is illegal across India, one which comes with high risks of accidents and injuries. One misstep and a life could be lost. As if the mountain's dangerous topography was not enough, but these were desperate times and the NDRF wanted the trapped men out. A team of specialists was called in. These rescuers specialized in rat hole mining. Now this method is generally used to extract coal in Meghale. The miner first digs narrow pits into the ground. It is just large, large enough for one person to go inside. It's just like rats burrowing through narrow holes. After digging the pits, the miner drops down into the holes using a rope and bamboo ladders. In the case of the tunnel, all the specialists had was a 2.6 feet wide steel pipe, their manual tools and the prayers of a billion Indians, of course. For 24 hours, the brave men kept digging away, meters deep inside the pipe. Fatigue hit them in waves. Behind them were several yards of darkness. And before them was the fate of 41 workers. For workers who have been in that tunnel for over 400 hours at that point. Sophisticated machines had failed, but the workers' hands proved to be better. They chipped away 12 meters of debris. A miner named Munna Qureshi then pushed aside the last rock, the last rock that stood between him and the survivors. And 40 minutes later, the first trapped worker was wheeled out. What followed was a moment of sheer joy. The survivor hugged his saviors. One of the miners left the tunnel in tears. These were tears of pure joy. They were earned after hours of manual digging and 17 days of darkness and despair. How did the trapped workers survive this? Some of them have recounted their ordeal, in fact. Listen in for yourself. We faced difficulties for the first 15 to 20 hours for food and water. Then food was sent through a pipe. 
After almost 10 days, another pipe was inserted and we received food like dry fruits, pulses, chapatis, whatever we got, we ate it. But for Gabbar Singh Negi, being stuck in a tunnel was not something new. In fact, this was the third time he had been trapped in a tunnel. Owing to his past experiences, he served as a leading figure for the others. One of the workers said that they lived like brothers. They would in fact take a stroll in the tunnel after dinner. They would also try to do yoga. The ordeal is now over. What remains is the lesson. The tunnel was being constructed in a fragile zone. The state of Uttarakhand is notorious for seismic activity. This year alone, it has witnessed a thousand landslides. Environmentalists have expressed their concern, their doubts over infrastructure advances, and they are right in doing that. Ultimately, it boils down to development versus conservation. India is ramping up infrastructure in the hilly areas. It is trying to connect even the remotest parts. At such a time, the tunnel collapse has come as a wake-up call. Uttarakhand has already taken the decision to review all the tunnels that are under construction. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.